Hello my beautiful peeps, how you all going today? <laughs> Janine here again guys, rocking it out for my beautiful, amazing, gorgeous, over 40s again in Auckland, New Zealand once again and today guys I wanted to show you how to do this beautiful greeny brownie, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous look and everyone will suit it using the new Urban Decay Wild West palette. I love this thing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Had it with some Kaleidos, a highlighter. Oh my goodness, I love it guys. So if you wanted to know how I created this gorgeous, beautiful, greeny, and absolutely greeny look, keep watching. Mwah. Hello my beautiful, beautiful peeps. How are you all going today? <laughs> Janine here again guys. Rocking it out for my gorgeous and beautiful over 40 skin. Rocking it in Auckland, New Zealand guys. Especially for yous. I love yous. <laughs> How's everyone going? How is the world? My world has been very strange lately guys. I've been yeah. <laughs> I've been a little bit, you know, un, you know, not really there to be honest, but um, I'm back, I'm back and I'm full attack. <laughs> Today guys, we are going to do a beautiful, awesome, gorgeous look using the new Urban Decay Wild West palette. I love this. It's looks very 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 good there's a couple of uh, nice brighties in there which i love and um yeah we're going to make something very 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 nice and wearable for my peeps out there and yeah if you haven't noticed guys i have swapped up from my iphone i'm not using my iphone anymore to record Auto focus is really quite hard, but yeah, I'm not using my iPhone anymore guys. I'm using a camera which I bought. I thought I'd better upgrade and test it out. So if my video today guys is a little bit, you know, not too good, I'm still learning. I'm still learning like everyone. I'm chopping my head out over here. I'm so tall, I'm five foot ten guys, so I'm trying to get like, you know, I'm uh, I don't want to be spending a lot of money on lenses and shit like that, so I will tell you what I'm using. What, what is it? The Sigma. Sigma. I'll list it below anyway, but it's great. It's amazing. And I have the kit lens also, which I bought with this camera, but it. And I love it. It's this one here. It is the Canon 1545mm. Let's just auto focus out. Hmm. I don't know guys. I feel like I need to fix my settings and stuff so and work on that a little bit more, but I'll get used to it, you know. Chopping my bloody head off. <laughs> but this came with the camera, the kit lens. I love it because it's a zoom one. The one I'm using is in a zoom, which is really, really annoying, but I do like the background kind of effect. It gives I'm supposed to be standing back here, which is great, but then, you know, it's kind of cutting my head out. I'm still trying to figure out how to do this properly. I only have a small space. I've only got my bedroom, so yeah. Oh well, we do what we can, eh guys? We do what we damn well can. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that's what I've been up to, trying to work this camera out, trying to figure it out of stuff and this iPhone here guys still takes the meanest selfies eh? chuck it into studio lighting mode and yeah portrait studio studio portrait obviously and then studio lighting mode boom bomb air selfies right there anyway guys let's get back to it I have missed you it's been a while what do you think of my painting yes Yes, it's my, um, that bloody ponytail that I have been struggling to put in. I have figured it out now, guys. I have figured it out that I actually need my daughters to put it on. 
and it takes them two minutes honestly and it stays in all day i love it my hair is thinned i'm going to do something about it next week but it's still got the blondies in it i have just touched up my um hair parts here with my rita hazan spray i have bobby pinned all of the shitty parts back and yeah so anyway guys let's rip into this beautiful beautiful look using the new urban decay wild west palette i was actually going to go for something really 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 bright i feel like i want bright but hey things change with the time right <laughs> so hold on up yeah so <laughs> let's go and put some foundation on guys we're going to use my giorgio armani why is that not focusing I'm not sure. Maybe I not meant to put it right up there like that. Later. I'll get used to this. I'll get used to this. Like that. Yeah. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. We're going to put some of that on. It's very, very, very hot. It's kind of like raining and then it's not over here in New Zealand. So if you hear a little noise, guy, guys, in the background, it's my fan because it's fucking hot, honestly. I would die in this rain. onto me <laughs> okay so let's get some of this foundation on eh? yes three palms auto focus what the fuck are on auto focus to you oh, be with me guys be with me Bear with your girl, bear with your girl. I'm doing this for you. <laughs> I'm doing this all for you guys, by the way. Now I know what they mean. You know, they say that you have to use a shade that is a lot darker on camera because this shade is actually really, really dark because the camera brightens you up, lightens you up. They're not very white. Yeah, that looks good, guys. That looks good. Makes me look very freaking white, and it's mind you, mind you, I did self tan, but this. Hmm. Kind of ghostly, eh? Don't worry, the bronze will fix it. Okay, my peeps. What do you think of that? Nice flawless base. I mean, when you see me up close, it's like quite weird. Okay, guys. Let's get this fucking shit on the road. <laughs> Too much fucking talking about cameras here. God damn. Okay. I definitely want some concealer. I have been missing it missing my makeup i have not put on any makeup for uh, quite a few days now yeah been letting it all hang out my peeps so i'm gonna go with my kimmy k i'm gonna do the full-on bake today oh i just feel like doing that and if you want to know what i'm wearing my peeps it is a kimmy k's cozy collection i'm wearing the joggers i'm wearing her joggers i'm wearing her what do you call it tank top very very comfortable very comfortable guys <laughs> so if you want to know all right let's get some concealer up in there i've got um kimmy k's concealer kkw beauty's concealer in the shade eight which i totally love so i'm going to put that on i'm out of focus like I said, guys, please bear with me while well, I sort out my, um, you know, studio lighting. <laughs> Not even a studio. <laughs> no damn studio over here, guys. Just a bloody bedroom, to be honest. 
So yeah, I I'm, hope I'm not unfocused a little bit more. And that looks good, even though I still look really white. I have heard though guys, I have heard, um, correct me if it's not true, but I have heard like this is my perfect shade, shade number 6.5. I buy all of my foundations in this colour. I have heard um, that um, you, on camera you do need to use a darker shade of foundation. Which in real life, in real life, I'm looking at myself and I look great. But on camera, they say that you need to do that. So I'll figure that out along the way. Okay, let's just blend in that concealer. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out, guys. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I can do this shit. Oh, I don't know. My wig's been shit, guys. I've. I just don't know what to tell you. It's been a fucking awful week yeah the grass is not greener on the other side my peeps Kimmy K's baked powder my, my lovelies and this stuff is the bomb love it love it love it love it I am shade number two very 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 tiny see see if I can get in there and focus very tiny little uh, pottle but you know that's fine I don't mind, you don't use much anyway, it's very pinky, so let's get that on. I'm going to use a little brush that came with it because I love it. Man, I'm so white. I'm only white on the camera. Me off, but yeah, and I'm actually really, really, really quite tanned in real life after that tan I gave myself. But, um, I don't know, I will figure this out as, as we go. Eh? I'll bronze it up, figure it out, figure it out together. <laughs> okay, that's better. <laughs> I think my lighting was up too high. I, I hope that's better anyway. Now I've got my roof lights on. I wonder if that's alright. Yeah, that's fine. Anyway, let's just make do of what we have, my peeps. And um, yeah, they still look a lot paler than what I am in real life. But um, hmm, not sure what to do about that. Anyway, guys, let's hit these bloody eyes. Eh? Cause I'm dying. I'm dying to use. Urban Decay palette. Here's my Jacqueline Hill brushes because I love these. They are the bomb. <laughs> I really, really, really do. They are awesome. So let's get into this lovely, gorgeous beauty. And let's check it out. I mean, I won't use the brush inside, but I will keep it. But I love that. What do you think? <sighs> Urban Decay, I haven't done a lot with Urban Decay for a, quite a long time, so I'm keen as, let me get rid of this brush before I drop it, I'm keen as to try it out, so let's go for it, I can't wait to try this green one here, ooh, so good, okay, so we're going to go for, hmm, let's put some nudie on, autofocus, Nude. It's called Nudie anyway, this one here. It's a big fluffy brush. Let's get that on there. All in the crease. I love Jacqueline Hill's brushes guys. This one here. It's amazing. So the camera that I've got is the Canon EOS Mark Six EOS Mark Six. It's got a very slow autofocus, isn't it? I don't know. It's probably the settings I've got it on. Who cares? B 
big fat fluffy brushes are the bomb for these transitions guys check that out yeah <laughs> actually switch pot i need a switch pot switch pot or pants guys <laughs> okay so the next shade i love that nice nudie natural one for the for the start Ooh. I want to definitely do a greeny look, you know, I want to do a greeny look, I want something dark and just nice. So I am going to put all over the lid, I'm going to go for this ghost town one here which is kind of orangey rusty colour. I'm just going to use the same brush. And we're just going to get that all over and then we're going to darken it up with some green and then yeah something really cool i'm just winging it all <laughs> and that one's called whiskey These little Ricky mirrors are the bomb too good, by the way guys. I love using this, mine's dirty. <laughs> Fuck it, right? All right. So, we've got that on. Look at that, Ricky mirrors. Doing something to my lighting. So, we've got that on. And I love that. So, we're going to add, I, I, I really want to put some purple on. I'm sick of doing, um, you know, brownie, nudie, nudie looks. I mean, I, I do end up getting a little bit sick of it after a while, which is all good. Actually, I'm going to go on with the green first. Text the darkest green. That one now. And I'm just going to smoke out that. Ooh! I'm going to smoke out that outer corner. Let's go. I like it. A bit more. Cheapest bloody papers. Might look weird guys, might look weird, but you know, I'm going to really, really blend that now. So we will use a clean fluffy brush, clean one. Let's just really blend those harsh lines, because check that out. Yeah, I like it. I like it. That one's a little bit darker. It looks darker, but not really. It's okay. We're going to put some more color on. Let's get back in with this Ghost Town one. Sorry, Ghost Town, the rusty colored one, because I definitely want to put some of that beautiful green on top. Whoa. This is so pigmented. <laughs> wow, I love that though. <laughs> Gotta blend it. I'm gonna put a bit of purple on the end. So I'm gonna use some of this dark one here called Pony Up. I just want to try it. I just want to try it. Let me try it, guys. Let me try it. <laughs> so I'm going to use a little brush for that. I'm just going to put on the ears. Let me try it, guys. <laughs> oh, gosh. 
let me let me okay that needs um some obvious blending but i do love the brown and the green it's gorgeous let's get up there I love it. I love that. I love that. Wait till we bang out the bottom, guys. <sighs> mm. Now we're going to grab, this is just the Morphe M224, which is, where's my Mac? No, this is fine. This is fine. So, to grab the shimmers, and I am dying to get into this one here, bud. So let's get in there. Use your finger if you want it. But I'm more of a brush girl than a finger girl, guys. Hmm. Maybe I'll go in with the finger and see what it does. Oh, yes. Check that. I could have sprayed my brush. Wow. Wow. Check that out, guys. Oh, that is the colour. That's the colour. That's the colour, guys, I've been seeing all on Instagram. <laughs> That's the one I wanted. Ooh. I'm intensifying it. Damn it. Blot the gold out of it. It's fine. The brown, I mean. That's the one. Check that out, guys. Still got that little bit of brownie in there. Which we can just still pop that, you know. Bit more brown. Use that brown brush. Because you want to have a little bit of brown there too. Well, I do. But it's like, I love it. That's the one. Now, that's that green that I've been seeing on Instagram, guys. <laughs> the one that I have been wanting to chuck all over my eye which I have done, so I love it. All right, we're gonna bang out the bottom lash line as usual. Clean up where you need to. I don't think I've got much going on, but you know, if you do, you're gonna be overboard, use finger. So get a smaller brush, guys, and we're gonna smash out this, boom out this bottom lash line, which is what I personally love to do. But check out that color. No, I love it. That, that. Is it a duo chrome? Possible? No, it's not. It's ball white, gorgeous. I love greens. Okay. So for the bottom, we are gonna go to town with. I wonder if I should put the purple. Yeah, I'm gonna put purple at the bottom. Pony up. That one. Something different. The bottom lash line. What do you guys think? Need more, eh? We need to put green on there. We do. So, we're gonna need the same brush, guys. We're gonna, I've just wiped it off on my um, pants. <laughs> Even though I've got a fricker's switch pot here. <laughs> oh, let's be real. Okay. Cuts. So we're gonna go for the dark one here, Tex. Tex. And we are going to smoke that bottom lash line out. Now obviously guys, I need a clean up underneath. I've gone a little bit, get up closer, I've gone a little bit um, too thick for my liking at the bottom. But if you like it like that, that's cool. Ooh, I like that. Now we're going to do an inner corner highlight, which is what the stem brush was actually originally for. <laughs> um, and we are going to use something shimmery. I feel like just banging that green in there. But I, I want to try as many colours, I want to try as many colours in this palette as I possibly can. But I love that look so far, check that. How about Cowboy Rick? Yeah, this purple one, eh? Purpley pink lilac one. Hmm. 
and Kai. It's okay, I mean, it's not my usual booming in the corner highlight. So I didn't do any spot concealing or anything today guys, so I don't feel like I needed it. Especially not with this bomb ass camera. <laughs> I don't know, I and mean, it might actually make, until I sort out my camera settings and stuff like that, I don't want to tutu around with it too much and yeah, I need to sort it out. Anyway, let's wipe that bake off that's been there for freaking ever. And thank gosh too, but oh there wasn't, actually there wasn't much fallout from that. Urban Decay palette, which I absolutely love that. Kind of reminds me a bit of um, Natasha Denona's, is it Metropolis? Yeah, Metropolis. Well, a little bit of it, kind of. I'm actually going to put some brightening powder under my eyes using this KKW Beauty Under Eye Brightening Powder in shade 2. And I love this stuff. I really, really do. I'm going to use her little brush that came with it. It's awesome stuff. I really think it's, it really makes a difference. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why, guys. But it really does. Hi. I put some green over there. Just under the eyes, Janine, not bloody everywhere. <laughs> so, so. I'm gonna put some up now. And that's awesome. I mean, that's really gonna brighten me up. Now, I'm gonna actually put a little bit more powder just in the other areas using my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish, which I absolutely love. It's a staple in my life. Look at it. nearly hitting pan. Get up there. Not too much powder guys and don't go over that brightening powder. I just want a little bit to counter the shine down if you have any. My nose around here. Yeah. It's really up there. T zone really the T zone. So I'm going to bronze my face up guys and give myself a little bit of life <laughs> while I sort this bloody camera. So I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette Volume 2 and I love this one, it's, it's awesome, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. You can just swatch the whole lot but I like to just grab this darker one here. Bloody bronzes me up. What do you think? And that's alright guys because the setting spray, the setting spray that I'm going to put on is going to really mount everything together and just make it snatched. Okay, we've got to finish up these eyes by putting on some eyebrows. So let's do that, eh? I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz and Dark Brown for that. Let's hit it. Kind of coming together now, eh? <laughs> All right, Pat McGrath Perma Gel Eyeliner in Black. I love this one. It never runs. Gosh, I love this stuff. Bloody amazing. Top and bottom. Shit. He's a fucking sharpen. <laughs> Yeah, it's always something. Okay, what do you guys think? I love it. 
I think that's beautiful, especially those eyes, guys. We need some blush. We need some blush. So I'm going to go for my Rare Beauty Melt, Melting Cream Blush and Nearly Apricot. Love these blushes. You guys have to try them. They are amazing. They are just so bloody nice. Very light. Check that out. Very light. Can't make those massive mistakes like with the liquid one. Well, you can, but you know, try not to. Yeah, I definitely need some more color on my face. Tap it on. You should brush if you want. I, I, don't, I actually like tapping it on. This is a nice one too, this um, apricot color. I love apricot. Pinky, pink brownie. Just tap, tap, tap. Tap that, you know, always. No, thin in the middle with the nose. Just gives you that little bit of color. A little bit of flush. Man, I could have actually done with um, taking that spider vein out. Which I might actually do for it very, very, very quickly. So because I've got the spider vein here guys and I didn't do any spot concealing, I'm going to blast with my Benefit Boing, just that one area. Because it's annoying the heck out of me. You're not just tap it. You can still see it, but you know, it's not so bloody obvious. It's still there. <sighs> I should have done spot concealing. Yeah, but what do you think of that Rare Beauty blush, guys? Very natural. It's really, really nice. I love it. Okay. What do you guys think of the look so far? So, I am going for highlight. I'm going to use my new Kaleidos makeup. I love this stuff. I'm yet to try more. I'm going to do another look for you guys tomorrow. I'm getting all colourful now. Actually, I've always been colourful, but I'm doing... I'm going to do some more, lots of some new stuff. And this is the Space Age Prophecy one. And I'm actually not too sure what bloody colour it is. But I think it is... Oh, I'm going to check my fingers. Oh, it's beautiful. Can you see that? Oh, wow. Wow. Let me see my camera will focus. Oh, it's a... Oh, pinky goldy oh it's gorgeous i'm gonna put some of that on with my highlighter <laughs> oh yeah <gasps> whoa oh my gosh it's like orangey as well check that out guys uh oh whoa that is so nice oh it's got green in it too Wow, OMG, can you guys see that? I put, I, I only put a little bit on. Can you guys see that? Green, gold, shift. Fuck, I've got to diffuse that. I've got to diffuse that. But my gosh, I love it. Wow, Kaleidos. I'm getting into these brands, eh? I'm trying out a lot and I've got some new stuff which I need to make a video on and show you guys. But I freaking am in love with that highlighter. I don't even feel like diffusing it. <laughs> I don't feel like diffusing it, guys. Can you see the green shift there? Why do I have to diffuse it? Why? Why should I diffuse it? I'll diffuse a little bit because it has come down a bit in my eye. Why do I need to diffuse this, guys? I don't want to. I want to. I want to sparkle. <laughs> I love sparkling. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Can you see that? 
me come up closer. See that green shift there? Oh my god, I love it. Oh, I'm not going to diffuse anymore. That's it. I love it. Okay, let's curl my lashes. And then, is it curling lashes first and then mascara? I'm not too sure. Oh, but let's spray our face first then. Let's see if everything will melt and tone, and tone itself down since, uh, yeah, the powdery. Urban Decay All Night Spray as usual. Close your eyes. OMG, I am in love with that highlight of my peeps. I love it. Oh my gosh, you guys have to try it. Kaleidos. I've got so many of their highlighters. Got so many of their highlighters and stuff, guys. I went on a rampage. But I am going to show you in a dedicated video all of the new stuff that I've got. Gosh, check it out. The greeny, the orangey. Okay, my peeps, what do you think of the look so far? I love it. I'm loving Kaleido's highlighter. It's gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm not too sure how it goes first, but I've got the um, Serect eyelash curlers, and these are supposed to be the damn best because they've got the MAC ones, and they pretty much did nothing. So let's give these ones a whirl. Actually, I think I'm meant to put mascara on there first, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to use my Serect um, Beauty Mascara, Relevy Mascara, okay? It's quite thin, which is cool. And we're just going to put that on. Ooh. Yeah, very nice applicator, very tiny. The Serret one. But very nice applicator. It kind of reminds me of the MAC Extended Play. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Obviously, it would need a few coats, but. No problem. Yes. So let's curl these up, eh? I am doing everything in my power, guys, to not get my eyelash extensions done again. I don't know if you watched my other videos, but I explained that I used to have eyelash extensions and I had them on for about five, six years, like continuously, continuously guys, I'm not talking like having them on and then taking them off for a month, I'm saying every single day for six years and it totally ruined my eyelashes and when it came to the lockdown, I, the big lockdown we had last year, I decided, because you know, I was spending so much money on them. Every time one or two would fall out, I would be racing down there and getting them fixed because I'd, I'd feel like they look like shit. And then I couldn't stand it if they were off, you know, and it was, you know, the whole thing, you couldn't rub your face, they'd fall the fuck off and all that shit. So I have been trying to use my own eyelashes <laughs> and I am trying to tell myself I don't need eyelash extensions. That's why you never see me with any eyelash even fake ones, I don't know how to put on fake eyelashes. But I will tell you something in a second. Let's curl these. Wow! Check that out, guys. Wow. These serrat. I mean, I can feel my eye. I think I went in a bit too. I think I went in a bit too um, much, but I can feel my eyelash touching my bloody. 
cute. I mean, I could even put on some more mascara if I wanted, but I'm not going to. Wow. Maybe this is the way to go, eh? Anyway, back to that little story, guys. I am doing everything in my mind to say, hey, you don't need those fucking fake, fucking fake um, eyelashes. Even though I love them, they're gorgeous. But with me, I was just too fucking addicted to them. I mean, I wouldn't even go anywhere if, like, some were off or some shit like that. Let's finish this um, eye look up. And I, I was thinking, what kind of lipstick... What kind of lippy do I, want to, do I want to go for? And I actually really just want to wear like a lip gloss today. And the only lip gloss besides my MAC lip gloss, which I'm totally loving at the moment, is this Anastasia, um, what is it? Honey Diamonds. Anastasia Honey Diamonds. And her clear one's amazing as well. I love this one. It gives a bit of sparkle. Oh, a bit of gold. What about the gold? What do you think? <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous lip gloss? I love it. This is a staple. Her clear one in this um, series is a staple as well. So, that's me, my peeps. I think I need to wipe up a little bit. But, you know, that's not too bad. And what do you think of the old hair? Yeah? The old uh, ponytail in the house. <laughs> Which is, uh, yeah, that's my real hair underneath it, guys. I got a pretty good colour match. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to be wearing that all the time. I only wear it, like, in special occasions. I'll wear it on this video. Sometimes I'll wear it to work. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with my hair at the moment. I'm not sure if I want to go fully back to dark brown, which I might do because it, I find it's still breaking. It's still breaking. Oh, not since I got my hair cut, got my hair cut up to here, guys. And I just feel like it's still um, kind of breaking a little bit. So, I don't know. But, thank you guys so much for watching this video. What did you guys think? What do you think of that highlighter from Kaleidos? Wow and the main attraction and our main attraction of, of course is our urban decay wild west color love it i think this was a beautiful greeny 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 look and i think everyone out there needs to try it and yeah it's perfect you can change it you don't need to wear a clear lip gloss booming it with the Kaleidos highlighter which I absolutely love and I am going to do a video on all the new things that I've bought guys so look out for that and I thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys have a great bloody day buy yourselves a pony you know you know <laughs> But I hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you and bear, thank you guys for bearing with me while I transition from my iPhone to a camera. Believe me, it's not as easy as just flipping out your phone and filming away. <laughs> but I did my first video on it and I really enjoy it as long as I get my lighting right and my settings, making sure that I don't look too white. But I love it how I can come close up to you guys now and you can really see the colours of the eyeshadows, which is awesome. And I am so glad that I did this video for you guys today. And yeah, so thank you all for watching and um, please check me out. And if you like this video guys, you know, like and subscribe. To your girl over here <laughs> rocking it out for me over 40s okay my peeps thank you so much for watching and i will catch you guys up soon on my next video hope to see you then Mwah.